Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Learn with Krishna. First of all, thanks for all the encouragement given. And I'm happy to share that we have crossed 100 subscribers. And today I'm going to explain you about what is application, what is application rule in Pega and what are the rule set versions we need to configure and how many versions we can maintain for a rule set, what is a class, what is inheritance and many things. Suppose if you take any application like Paytm, Zomato or Bookmesho, an application consists of UI rules, database and if any integrations that are there. So all these components are so necessary. So these are tightly coupled with the application rule. In the last video I have already mentioned that the executable code which is of uh, different types everything we call a rule in Pega and uh, as most of the people are a bit aware of Java in Java terminology if I explain suppose if you take a JSP file which is related to UI that is JSP code file you call so here we call it as section as a rule and if you take one uh, servlet we have in Pega it is called as activity so it is a rule for example if you take data model property is a rule and property consists of many instances so while creating a property we need to give what is the class name we are saving it and what is the rule set version if you see here this is the class name and this is a rule set version in this rule set version if you see there is a 080701 just a step back as I said, all the rules will be saved in rule set version and we have to be so conscious about naming convention on the rule set version name. Suppose Flipkart, I am taking as an example, integration rule set of Flipkart, I have Flipkart INT, this is the rule set name and this is 010101. What is this 010101? This is major version, this is minor version, this is patch version. So for all the rule set versions in Pega, we follow these three. Why this is required? Suppose any application, it won't go go live without testing it or without uh, validating the functionality. So we have four environments in Pega. One is development, staging, user act acceptance testing, pre-prod and production. On rule set version, it starts with 010101 and ends with 010199. Once it reaches 010199, we go with increment of the minor version. Suppose if our minor version also ends with 99, then we go with updation of major version. There is no thumb rule like we have, we can we cannot create 020101 until we reach this. Based on our application need, based on our architecture, we can do that. So coming back to the Pega portal, this uh, you can see here application. If you see here, we have option called new application. When you click on this, a, this wizard will be coming. In this wizard, you, if you select the search all types, you can select what would be your base version. I will be explaining you what is this Pega product base version. Suppose if you are building a decisioning application, the base version should be Pega DM. If you are building normal Pega application, it's Pega rules. And if you are building some UI related uh, application or component we will be selecting theme cosmos ui kit for now i'm going with pegaru and here you can select some flip card and you can create this but before that i want to show you what is the con advanced configuration if you see there are many things called framework implementation organization name division name unit name and base language on which you need to build the application and there is something called as organization application class group name so i know these terms are uh, pretty new these are a bit of technical first of all framework and implementation if you click framework you can see there is addition of this class so what is this framework what is this implementation why do we need this and why we should learn before going to create this application so as i have said an application can consist of data ui integration and implementation whatever application you build you have to be so conscious about reusability what is reusability? For example, you create a rule in any technology. We should be thinking in a way like instead of creating a duplicate entries, we should be uh, conscious of reusing that in many places. Um, what is the layers in Pega application? What is enterprise class structure in Pega? And uh, I have said like we have some many names like organization division unit. First of all, I want to explain this. 
suppose if you take flipkart as an application and they want to build an application in india and australia and they have different products like sales service warehouse so in this scenario flipkart will come as an organization division will be our is india or australia and unit will be sales service warehouse this is what here we will mention and next what is this framework implementation pega rules so before going to that i want to explain some concept called as inheritance inheritance in pega we have direct inheritance and pattern inheritance as i said we focus on reusability i have said about classes like a rule should be created in a class and that class is associated with a rule set version okay so while we are naming a class we will be giving uh, some unique name which is relevant to our functionality suppose if i have a is a class and it is having three properties and i have created b as a class and it is having two properties a hyphen b is nothing but uh, under a class we are creating b as a child class okay if you see uh, this is pega sample and here customer request this is a this is b and in customer request also we can create other classes so coming back to this a is a class having three properties and b is a class having two properties now if you create c as a class and it you did not create any properties but in c class you can use all these three plus two five properties this is called as pattern inheritance if you see the word itself predicts a pattern first here the rule will see whether any property is present here if not it will check here if not it will check in a what is rule resolution referring some property so pega in run time will check from where this is being called so first in the class definition for example if you take customer request as a class click on definition you can see while running if you create a property it will check whether it is present here if not it will go and check in this class if not opinion like it might be present in some other class for example if you see pega sample customer request is the class pega sample is a customer request is b so while you are referring a property it will check here and here not it will go to directed inheritance so we have specified another classes work covers cup by cus so it's like g is a class which is having 10 properties and h is a class it is having 11 properties now we we'll see if you want to refer these five properties and these 21 properties you have to define class c as this would be pattern inheritance and you have to define on class c with this direct inheritance g hyphen h so you can access all these 5 plus 21 26 properties for c class which you are reusing it and that is nothing but inheritance concept here and coming back to this particular point so pega is a base version like here while creating an application we have selected before this right that one and what is this framework and what is this implementation as i have said flipkart suppose uh, is planning to develop an application in uh, russia then this would be new division okay after that if you see this is a pega based product this implementation is nothing but suppose if you are uh, customizing the code which is related to this unit service or warehouse and these are only confined to this then you can use here suppose if you are creating a rule which would be useful for sales service and warehouse you can create a rule in framework layer so under this framework you can access all these three classes so pega's recommendation is to use framework uh, related application why because we can expand our business a lot and we can expand our reusability a lot as i have said suppose if i here i have selected a implementation class i cannot see any framework now if i select framework application structure i can see fwz class. okay now going back to here so when you are creating a particular classes if you see flipkart is organization india is division india sales is unit and work is implementation our implementation layer class every time ends with work because work is a place where we almost save our work objects here 
and suppose if we are building a framework related application not implementation then our class structure will be flipkart fw india sales fw work suppose if you are having a company logo where do you save as company logo is same for all the countries like all the divisions and we can reuse it over all the layers we can create an organization suppose india is only accepting rupee currency so that image you can save only in india division class as i said in before we have ui db integrations suppose what is the naming convention given by pega is suppose if you are having a data class then it should end with data we have to represent which class it is whether it is data related integration related framework related ui related example under organization we can create data class and integration class then it will be flipkart iphone data suppose if you want to create under framework layer of under division flipkart iphone india iphone data suppose we want only data elements confined to one unit then it will be flipkart iphone india iphone sales iphone data there is no limitation like we should not create data or integration classes in unit division or organization but we have to make sure like we have to segregate and use the more common rules for example if you take address address line one address line two it will be same for all the regions so it would be better if you create that particular properties under flipkart hyphen data so that it can be used in all the divisions and in all the units so you have minimized the effort of creating the same property in three units and three divisions totally six classes and what is ecs ecs is nothing but enterprise class structure this is one of the most important interview question where recruiters uh, will be asking us uh, could you please tell your application uh, stack or could you please uh, tell your enterprise class structure so this is pegar product so in the first screen before this we have selected right theme cosmos or pega dm or pega pr though this that is this one and this is pega recommended like organization should be direct inheritance to the product and framework should be uh, directly inherited to the pega product and this implementation should be pattern inherited to division and unit this would be an ideal enterprise class structure you have to follow based on our project needs we have to go ahead okay now i have said we have different classes and different segregation few what is application stack so now we, if we see application definition you can see rule sets as i have said this is the rule set used and this is the rule set version 08 is the major version 07 is the minor version so suppose there are rules after 0808 if we did not mention in our application stack as 0808 pega won't consider that it will consider only pega 0807 suppose we have rules in pega 0808 then we have to make sure like we have to update our application stack and just if we create some functionality and still our rule set application stack as 0807 pega during execution of the code won't pick it because we are not specifying that rule set uh, 0808 should be considered as this is over to be application we have many rule set versions over here okay and in previous example i have already told we are having data integration framework ui class how our application knows that we these rules needs to be picked there is one tab called cases and data in this there is one option called as associated classes there we will mention it is an ua class or integration class or data class in our criteria after our class creation we have to mention like flipkart hyphen like for example our uh, class is flipkart hyphen ui pages then we have to mention as flipkart hyphen ui pages and this is integration class this is data class and classes won't be a version type 
it is just a single instance and you might have doubt if you click here in the definition there are two types of classes like abstract class concrete class suppose if you want to save some rules or save some work objects on under this class then you have to select concrete class then only instances will be saved here if you give abstract class it's like a just a dummy placeholder where you can create all the properties but you can't save any instances under this class for example if you have a class called flipkart hyphen data and you want to relate this particular to a table in database like pr underscore flip data this is table name so how do you link this class with this database table then only you have to give con concrete here and if you scroll down there is something called as test connection if you click see this particular class is related to this there is one rule called as database table rule here if you see in our example okay this belongs to a class group so we have to check for pega sample so pega sample is a class this is database table rule so the this rule should be same as the class name you specify so in our instance you have to create flipkart data as a instance and you have to specify our database table name database so once you give this and save and if you click on test connectivity on this flipkart hyphen data you can see that this is related to this uh, you can see that this class is linked to this database table and whenever you create any instances all those records will be saved in this table going back here so i have explained you about what is organization division unit and what is the difference between implementation and framework please be aware of all these terms so that it would be easy for us to go ahead and continue creating application just rewinding the session all the rules will be saved in rule set version and link it to a class and we have four environments and our integration class uh, name and a data class name and our ui pages name should be aligned with our naming conventions like this suppose here flipkart data is a data class and this can be related to a rule set version called as flipkart data and suppose here this one flipkart int so you have to make sure that it should be context sensitive and we should follow the naming conventions and inheritance as i have said we have direct inheritance and pattern inheritance because default search engine looks for first pattern and if you have specified any direct inheritance then it will check the rules in direct inheritance this is a base class this is a framework class fw and this is implementation implementation is what unit so if you relate to this you can just see in your project or you can just design your project in a way like how we can achieve reusability and coming back to application definition as i have said in definition this is called as application stack if someone asks you about application stack you should be aware of what are the rule sets for now i feel like uh, this is the basic rules or this is the basic terminology that are required for creating an application classes and rule sets and rule set versions please revise yourself and please be clear if you have any queries please feel to reach me out through comment section thanks for watching this video please share and subscribe